All right, so you've done a quite a bit of modeling. Uh, you've got a quite a bit of information in your project. Now we want to start to get some of that data out, get some of the I in BIM, the information in BIM out. And we want to start to be able to use that and and uh, understand what it is, do takeoffs, you know, that kind of thing. And so uh, Revit has a thing or a tool called schedules. Schedules are essentially the extraction of that data. So let's do um, one quick schedule here. So let's go, go down to structural columns, structural column schedule, new construction. We'll click OK. What data do we want here? Um, so we probably want base level, probably want base offset. We probably want top level, top offset. And then I'm just going to go um, all the way up to the top here. And let's add in... Um, Let's add in family. Where is family? Uh, uh, why can't I see family? Family. And then let's also add type. Um, let's add type. Uh, let's add comments. Comments. We'll move. Maybe move that to the end. Um, let's add. Um, we could add weight. Let's see what that does. Let's add length. Um, so we have uh, some decent pieces of data here. There's certainly more that you could bring in, um, but let's start with those. Let's click OK. So here's all of our data. Um, let's go into sorting and grouping. And we want to sort by family then by type, then by length. And what that's going to do is now we can actually turn off itemize every instance. And it's going to start to count, which we should actually add two more. We're going to add uh, count. So let's move. Here's another little trick too. We can click that and go down, move count up to the top. And then let's grab count um weight didn't seem to do a whole lot let's grab a level uh do we have level i guess base level yeah so maybe let's go back to sorting and grouping let's let's actually sort by level uh base level and then let's sort by length um again that's just going to add a little bit more uh, control and you can see how we have none that say varies for length now and uh, we can go back to formatting oh, under count we can say calculate totals so we have 56 maybe we want to move this after so let's move this down a little bit so we have Concrete regular columns, we have wide flange columns, and those are the amount, uh, those are the length. Um, they start here and end here. And so that starts to get us some information of what we need. And, and um, we can also do some more specific filtering. So every family, we could add a type and a footer. We could do calculate totals. We could also go length, uh, calculate totals. And so now it's going to give us how much length we have. And I think I did weight. Um, how much? Yeah, I did. I did do weight. How much length we have. So we have basically 491 feet of the W12 by 40. And maybe what we could do, which is not really too important for this, um, is we could then sort by type and have a header for that as well. And um, maybe we'll add a blank line between those. And so now if we were to have, you know, a different size beam, it'll then filter out. A um, couple other things I like to do graphically, but um, they're a little bit hard to see here. So let's actually drag this column schedule to a sheet. And so I just find this is a little bit clunky to look at. So what I'd like to do is 
a couple things. So let's go back into here. I like to grab the title. Um, I like to go to borders and I like to turn off uh, all of them and then we'll add wide lines on the bottom here. Um, and that way there's no title on the top. Um, I also like to go to font here for the title and we'll leave the title at 1 8 um, but I'll make it bold. And then the other thing I like to do is left align it. And what I also do is resize the height because the height is a little bit tall. Let's bring it down one so it's a little bit better. So now that starts to look a little bit neater. Um, I also like to turn off the border at the top. So let's go to appearance and let's go to turn off grid lines. And then I also like to stripe rows stripe second row yeah and let's add just a bit of a gray and that way you know it's again just a little bit cleaner and the last thing would be left aligning all of the text for all of these categories and so i just i think that starts to look a little bit better um, or at least looks cleaner and um yeah, we can go back into appearance and do more. Um, maybe show stripe rows on sheets. Maybe we don't want right. Maybe we want an outline, thin line around. Um, yeah, let's see. What that looks like. Yeah, so maybe we want a border around. Um, yeah, you can play with that a little bit, but. I think that starts to to clean it up. Maybe we don't like how dark the stripe is. Maybe we'll take the stripe down to a little bit more of a lighter color. I find the stripe rows definitely really helps to actually see the schedule. Um, I personally don't like the borders, um, just in my opinion. So I usually turn off the border and I just do a a line underneath this one do a wide line and it doesn't look like it actually is showing uh, I don't know why I think we might have to just fully turn them off or turn them on See if that turns it on. No, still not. Anyways, that starts to look a little bit better for schedule. Um, so one other type of schedule I think is really cool to do, um, especially for from a installation perspective, is a graphical column schedule. So this starts to show the heights of all the columns, and it's obviously you saw how quickly I set that up. So I just went to schedules and quantities, graphical column schedule, and then I changed the view down here to be fine. And now we can start to really see uh, what's going on um, with this. So we can have, you know, some control over the heights. So maybe um, grid appearance, um, text appearance. Let's make all of our text one sixteenth. Uh, so title text. Maybe we'll keep our titles text one eighth bold, and then everything else is one sixteenth. And so that looks a little bit better. And yeah, so there's there's some more control over here. Uh, column height schedule. Um, so we've got a title and then we can drag that onto a sheet and that actually shows up up here. So it looks like that. And if we don't want a, a title on that one, we could just turn off the title. Uh, but that's just another schedule you can create. So column schedules, um, structural framing schedules, uh, you could do footing schedules. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different types of schedules you can work on.